Hey everyone, this is Sarah with SewingPartsOnline.com and today we're going to be going over our quarter inch feet and we have a couple to choose from. This is a quarter inch foot with the guide, a quarter inch foot without the guide, and this, the accessory that goes with it, is our quilting guide. I'm going to show you exactly how to use all three. We have two different quarter inch pressure feet, one with a guide and one without. This one does not have the guide, you just simply follow along the edge. This one does have the guide. I prefer to use this one, it just I think it works better for me. But they are both simple snap-ons. All you have to do is remove the foot you have on, slide it underneath the shank, and clamp it on. Same for the other one. Place it underneath the shank and clamp it on. Now to use your quilting guide, the most important thing is to have a walking foot already installed. And if you need instructions for how to install your walking foot, you can check out our video, how to use a walking foot, and it has great instructions on how to install your walking foot. So you can see here in the back of your walking foot, depending on which which brand you have you either have a large hole or a shelf so mine has a hole so all I'm gonna do is slide this in and you can adjust this to be as close to the foot or as far away from the foot as you like and that you know determines the width of your quilting stitches now to install the quilting bar onto your shank with your quarter inch foot already on we're gonna go ahead and locate the hole right here at the top of the shank we just take the end of the bar and slide it through. And you slide it in and out depending what width you need while you're sewing. First we're gonna go over the quarter inch foot with the built-in guide. I really like this one because I find it easier to line up your fabric. So when you're doing your quilt piecing, this is really the foot that you need to make sure all of those seams are perfect. You just line it up and sew along the edge. Couldn't be easier. When I get to the end, we can see that is completely even. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Open it up and it looks great. So now we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate the quarter inch foot without the guide on the side. All you do is line your seam up against this outside toe right here. And we'll go ahead and show both seams with the guide and without, and you'll see that both are exactly a quarter of an inch. Nice, neat, perfect. So now that we have our walking foot installed, we have our quilting guide installed, we can go ahead and start quilting. With this, I have a single piece of fabric over some batting. I've drawn one line that I'm gonna follow. This is gonna be like the guideline for the whole rest of our quilting. So really, you know, in other situations, you would have to draw all of your lines with like a chalk or, um, you know, some kind of transfer. With this, just draw one and we'll keep following it consecutively and I'll show you how. So here we go, we're gonna start. And we're just going to follow the one line as best as we can. And we're going to start all over again. And follow this line. And we'll just keep doing this over and over and over again until your quilt is completely finished. So this is definitely a great time saver and um, great for better accuracy. Now this doesn't have to be that width. As we said during the installation, you can move this quilting guide as far or as close as you need for your project. So now that we have our quarter inch foot and our quilting bar installed, I'm just gonna just go ahead and show you how to use it. Um, the same as what we did with our walking foot, just going to adjust it to wherever I want the bar to guide me. So for instance, I can put it up all the way against the edge of the quarter inch foot and 
Just use that as kind of a guide, similar to the quarter inch foot with the built-in guide. Or I can extend it out all the way over here and it's gonna help me make sure that all of my um, quilting stitches are in even intervals. This is really great for creating those um, like cross um, checkered patterns and stuff on your quilts. Like, uh, like when you see with um, free quilted fabric. Instead of drawing a million lines, I can just follow the same one. And if I want to go across, I've already got it measured out to what I want. There we go, very, very easy. So that was the quarter inch foot. To purchase your quarter inch foot with or without the guide and the quilting guide, visit us online at sewingpartsonline.com or at Facebook at Facebook slash sewingpartsonline.